personal tax year and company tax year. If you've got a limited company, often people get confused with the blurring of the lines between your own personal tax year and the company tax year. So let's just explain the two different dates that we're looking at. The personal tax year runs from the 6th of April every year and runs all the way through to the 5th of April. Now your company tax year, is t it's a 12 month anniversary. So it all depends on the date that you form your company. So let's just use a random one for now, let's say June. So now you've got June of the, of the current year and it goes all the way through to the, begin the, end, of the end of May the following year. So that's your 12 month cycle. Now they're obviously different dates, so they don't align from the way that you draw your income, your salary, your dividends, your expenses. So often what will happen is you'll start to draw money here and it may fall within this tax year, or it may fall outside this tax year. Working with your accountant, often what you can try and do is juggle the two together to make sure that you optimize the best way to draw your income from your business. Salary itself, so when you're drawing salary from your company over here, your salary will fit within the two tax bands, sorry, within the tax year dates. So let's assume that you drew a 15,000 pound salary which is £1,250 gross per month, you probably end up around about £1,150 net. What will happen on a monthly basis, you'll declare, let's say on the 6th of April, 6th of May, 6th of June, you will be declaring your salary and making payments HMRC under something called RTI, Real Time Information. These figures all come into your personal tax year and your personal tax return. Now often what people will do, they'll add together, that's your salary. If you're then thinking about dividends, which is a distribution of profit from your company, you can elect to distribute the profit within this year, or you can elect to leave it in the company as retained profit and then distribute it in the further tax year. But let's assume you then distributed some dividends down here. Let's do some tax planning. Let's get to 35,000. The reason I've chosen 35,000 is that in the current tax year, 15,000 salary and 35,000 pound dividend is the high rate tax threshold. It means you draw your money in the most optimum way to do so. So that is only gonna suffer 7.5% in the current tax year, increasing in 2022-23 to 8.75. But it's a good way of filling your bands up to try and draw the best income here under your personal tax. And obviously we can talk about ways of leaving funds in the company and distributing them later. But that's company tax years, 12 month cycle from the date of formation and the personal tax years fixed from the 6th of April to the 5th of April.